when I first seen her, you know, across the the fence, and then uh, the wait time to actually hold her was it, it felt like uh, I don't know it was felt like an eternity basically. Yeah. Yeah, but um, but it didn't it didn't really like hit me hit me until I actually got to the border and I was able to see her through the fence. Yeah, but it, I was I was overwhelmed with emotions that I don't know words, words can't express exactly what I felt, you know, joy, happiness, nervous, nervousness, I, I, I don't know, <laughs> it was an amazing experience, especially, you know, because I, I video chat with her over Facebook all the time, and, but it's not the same, <laughs> and my kids, my kids have never met her, so, man, the, the fact that she was able to meet them and hold them and, and, you know, I speak to them about their crazy grandma all the time, and but the, you know, words words are meaningless when there's no one tangible in front of them to to back up those words, you know. Yeah. And so the fact that she was she's a real person to them, and and uh, they were able to hold her and hug her and call her abuelita, and you know, all those things, it, it was a, a very special experience. But I was grateful that I was able to hold her for at least those three minutes. Um, my kids. No, they, they were just, hi, abuelita, we love you. And, uh, the only thing I, I can express was telling her how much I loved her and how much I missed her. 